All right, guys, this is Flint's Ball. I was going to show you a few of these pieces. I've had an awesome year, and then all at the same time, I've had some pieces that's been heartbreakers. This being a banner stone that I found at my old stomping grounds on May the 23rd. First trip back there in well, near 20 years. Someone told me it was a saddleback banner stone. And the reason I'm showing you these is because, you know, with several of these I'm fixing to show you from different folks, they've said, you know, it might be a good candidate for restoration. And I'm not arguing that. Uh, of course, you got to be able to afford it, which, you know, uh, probably swing it. But all at the same time, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, uh, they say, you know, they're against it, make some fake. What not? I've had some restored and I've been tickled with the, the results. But I just want to show you a few of these and, and uh, let you look at them and, and just more or less get your opinion on them. You know, uh, and tell me what you think. And I, you know, I mean, I'll make my own mind up, but yet at the same time, I'd like to have a consensus kind of. This is a really, really nice, would have been a really nice pine tree. Just so unique in shape. And I don't know how much longer that tip would have been, but I'm sure it probably come up, you know, the same width as this, a little piece, and then tapered in from both sides into a point. Because pine trees are kind of like that, exotic nearly. So that's that's one that someone mentioned to be a candidate for restoration. Of course, you've seen me find this in not too many weeks ago. A lost lake with that one barb right there missing on it. That's another one that, you know, is debatable certainly worthy of bringing back you know these pieces over here uh, I, I got a couple that's not you know got any damage much this one right here of course I found it in 2012 uh, it's got a little bit of damage but I wouldn't even consider having any restoration done on those it's a little edge wear on the blade both of those looks to be pretty modern uh, well, the one there more so than that one. But anyway, that's a nice piece, and I'm not, this is not in question. But I did think, I thought I'd lay these out here just to show you these are the things that's come out of my dovetail field in the last couple of years. And uh, that place is going up for auction next Saturday. But this is one from there. And let me show you. These are, you know, all these are in excess of three inches. That one's four and a eighth that is three and five eighths and that is three my dovetail and of course snap base kirk it's over three and this one's right at three uh but this one being one that you know had i not found that one you know this one would have been in question but still it it would be nice restored in my opinion it's got two parts missing right there and of course, this side of the blade is a little war. I love that inclusion in that. It's a nice bevel to it. Pretty piece if it all been there. And like I mentioned, it's three, three and a quarter, I think. And then this snap base curve. Of course, I know in order to fix that, you know, originally you'd have to guess about what that base would be like. Uh, but we know it had one at some point. But I believe it was snapped intentional. Otherwise, these ears right here wouldn't have been intact, I don't think. Really finely made. Serrated on both edges. And that little tip right there has been fractured. But yet it, you see that it's been ground slick as a button. And on an angle. That's a nice piece.
considering that one along with you know these three and of course that didn't been in consideration and this one too it's got that little ear missing right there and one corner of the base missing right there and maybe a smidgen missing right there and then it's got this tip I don't think much of the length was jeopardized with that, with that break, but maybe a little bit of it. But that one's three inches long. Made out of some pretty, I believe it's Fort Payne chert. But look at the serrations on that. And I believe it's a I believe it's a Kirk corner notch, and it's lengthy for a Kirk corner notch in my area. Most everything in the way of Kirk corner notch, you know, stops about right there no longer two inches and this in here is three with with you know what possibly is missing off a tip just real real symmetrical of course it's no bevel no ground base so lost lakes ruled out no ground base steel wells ruled out so it's Kirk corner notch with dip gun and that one's in debate of course you know here's one more that that you know I believe I've made my mind up on it simply because this corner right here has been renapped. And uh, I'm nearly afraid to sand it off, if you know what I mean. You gotta package one really well. And it wouldn't take too much jarring, in my opinion, until that right there would be jeopardized. So I think that done made my mind up, you know, based on that. Plus, it's been reworked. And it's nearly like slapping the face to the Indian that worked on that. And I'm sure he was proud of it. And why else would he have done that? But anyway, I was just going to give y'all a look at these and see what you think about, you know, this and being a PT pine tree, that and the BS at the banner stone, that and the Kirk be a K if you want to niche, if you just want to put initials, and that and a DT, and that and a, I had to think a minute, and the SBK, and of course this has been lost like. Those are the five in consideration, or six, and uh, see what you think about them. And we'll go from there. But I hate to see that field go. And of course I may continue to get to hunt it. I don't know. But uh, what stuff I found from there though. In the last couple of years. Of course that. Well. That this year. These two I found last year. Uh, but anyway. I was going to get these coming your way. And just. If you would, just let me know what you think. All of them, I'm sure, are worthy candidates, but give me some, give me some ideas. Thanks for watching.